Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Today is Sunday, so I do have another What Sold on eBay video. So we're going to head over there right now, and we're going to show you what we sold. So here we are. This is the first item that I sold. Now, I've been using the feature to send offers to the watchers lately. Not a whole bunch. I'm doing 10, 20 at a time. I did 20 the other day, um, just two days ago. And out of those 20, I sold three items at my quoted price offer to them. This was one of them. I took 45 for this, plus they paid for shipping. I've had it for a little while. I spent $2.99 on this. This is actually like a three-dimensional diorama almost. They've carved the wood out. They've added other details. It's all hand-painted. It's actually a Southwestern artist from an actual museum. It's a rather interesting item, in all honesty. It's got a wood back and the whole work, so... Very happy with that. Um, it's been around for, maybe I've had it for a year and a half. So let's move on to the next one. Now this person here, again, I, I say collectors collect. This person collects American airline luggage labels. He bought like four or five of them, like 70 some odd bucks worth, all at the same time, right at the same moment. So 1450, 1850, 750. They're not all worth the fortune, so. Uh, next one, another one here, another um, 1850 and 1250 on this last one here. So that's literally about what you see there on these. I sell a uh, luggage label probably every day of the week on average, every day of the year, every day of the week on average. So almost 400, I guess you could say a year I, I sell, I guess, on average on just labels like this. Now, here's an early label. This would have been something that somebody might have stuck onto an envelope for advertising or a piece of merchandise that someone bought advertising this uh, Grove's Tasteless uh, Tonic, basically. It's an interesting object, uh, basically. It's just a piece of paper um, that has a serration on one edge, maybe almost like a poster stamp, but not. So uh, this one went for $45. Next one here is a Hot Wheels um, Real Riders Baja Breaker. Um, it has the Baja Breaker on the side there. I took fourteen fifty on this one here, so happy about that. No big deal. Now here is a Christmas card. Now the person who bought this pretty much buys most all of these. I purchased a huge lot of Christmas cards, and they went from say the eighteen seventies all the way up into like nineteen fifty ish. Um, and I've already sold quite a few. This one paid for the whole lot right off the bat. I got $58.50 for this card here. So right off the bat, I paid for over 100 Christmas cards. Again, from this one article I sold right here. Another postcard, $14.50 of California, of course. Uh, another one here. This is Fort Bragg, the skunk. This one went for $27.50. Look these up. This is like a railroad line from the area. Um, from back in the day. It's pretty interesting. 1950-ish, I would say, is the postcard date. Same person bought this one as bought the last one that I had up as well, too. Here's an interesting one. Uh, Bone Phosphate. This is an advertising card in excellent condition. This one I bought singly from somewhere. I think I spent like four or five bucks on this one, which I usually don't do, but it's a tobacco leaf um, on the front, and it's an anthropomorphic as well, too. And it sold for forty-eight fifty on this one here, so I was pretty happy with that. It's from a routine um, customer of ours. He, he buys from us probably once a week, um, at least two or three times a month on average. Another uh, luggage label here. This one went for seventeen fifty on this one. Pencils. I've got a video on pencils from way back in the day. I may do an updated version on pencils and pens soon. Um, I sold this one for fourteen fifty as well as another one from Illinois Central to the same person for fourteen fifty as well too. So twenty nine bucks and two pencils. I sold two to the same person the week before. So apparently he's buying a few at a time from the way it looks. So. Very happy. I'm glad to always have repeat customers, especially on stuff like this. I've got nothing into this, and I think when I originally bought the pencils, I spent five bucks on like hundred and some odd pencils. And literally the very first pencil I sold, I doubled my money on. And I've been selling pencils ever since. My huge assortment of pencils has dwindled down to maybe like 15 or 20 at this point. So next one here is a roller skating label. Basically got 20 bucks out of this one and then shipped. So good one on that. Now these, again, I've been showing these constantly because I've been selling them uh, one or two a week for 75 plus 
each time they sell. This one I took 75 on too. I think last week the same person bought the actual um, football throwing one of this where he's actually throwing a football if I'm not mistaken. I know it was a West Point one. Um, but again, these sell constantly. This was one of those uh, longer tail investments that I purchased. I spent a thousand plus, but we've gotten back. Geez, I think we're heading to the 5,000 mark on all of these um, tobacco silks. And it's a large tobacco silk. And I still have got probably 72 more that I haven't listed. Not college related, but they still will bring me a few hundred dollars as well, too. Now, this is a lot of five hand-blown from Dana Spicer, the, the main Dana company here. They're Christmas ornaments given out to the employees. My son worked with um, the Dana Robotics team for four years, so I knew enough to buy these. I had them up individually, and they weren't selling, they weren't selling. I had them up for maybe a year, so I've got 60 cents or so when the listing them originally. I lumped them together and just blew them out, and I sent an offer out, if I'm not mistaken, on this one, too. I took 50 bucks for these. Again, I'm fine on that. I paid a dollar a piece for them, so I have five bucks into them. And this was sold to somebody from the company because the address is actually where my son took the robotics at. So that was rather interesting in all honesty there. Now this person here has been buying for me again for months, months on end. They'll buy uh, quite a few. This person bought six of these photos for 270 bucks. He made me an offer on the six and then the, the lump sum was 270, which I'm fine with. So it's a pretty good return on my investment considering several I got top dollar for. So um, 270 on these six, as you see here. I'll just flip through them here. Again, just really nice ones. These, like this one here, he paid me 50 bucks for that one. 50 bucks for the Flying Wing. This is a well-known one here. This one's well-collected. I'm surprised it didn't sell sooner, though. Um, and then he bought another one of the Flying Wing, 50 bucks. So 270 on the six of these here. These spoons I showed in a haul. I got a whole bunch of spoons. I don't remember how many. Um, I know it wasn't much. A couple bucks I paid for all of them. And I've been averaging five to say seven fifty a piece on these. Half of them are gone. This is another example here. Here is a seventy-eight record. Learn to croon. Crooning is what they called it. Um, you know the Rat Pack and you know uh, Sinatra. Sinatra was around almost back in these days. His first one, I think, his first singing record was with Paul Whiteman. And the record itself is a seventy-eight. Just some nondescript record. It does not say Frank Sinatra, but the record sells for hundreds of dollars. I've had a couple of them too. Um, this is a good example. I sold this one for forty bucks. This is a Clap Saddle postcard. Her signature is actually down there. Ellen H. Clap Saddle. Sold it for $20. I was pretty happy with that. $34.50. Average price on these, look it up. It's well lower than what I sold mine for. Here's just some cables. Again, they sold for $34.50. I talk about buying big bulk lots of just junk camera equipment. Even with their broken uh, pieces and stuff in there, I'll still buy them like this. I sell them in lots. I'll just lot up all the cables and boom, sell them out. Don't care if it takes a little while to sell. I constantly sell uh, camera equipment. Most of the weeks you'll see, or I've sold some camera equipment, almost every week of the year I sell this kind of stuff. Now here's some Matchbox die-cast cars. Just a random lot. I paid a quarter a piece for these at some sale, so you can figure the math out here. It did sell for $57.50, as I said. I turned down a $20 offer. I turned a $34 offer, and I think the last offer was like $38.39 or some screwball figure. I was assuming they were trying to round up the postage, but I just let it ride out. $57.50. There's a pink one or two, as well as purple. Some different colors and unique stuff. The boat on the trailer used goes for decent money, as does the double-decker bus. So I've had most of these cars before like this. This is Bole, largest tree in Fresno, California, or Fresno County, I should say. California one, $14.50 on this one. There's a ton of these showing the giant redwood forest and the big trees out there. They're not all worth money, so just be careful. The ones that show a ton of people like this go for, for more for the most part, as long as they're not the common one. There's a bunch that show a cavalry troop standing around a tree that has the notch cut out and there's horses in there. Those don't go for a ton of money. So just be selective on the ones you get. Mostly the tree ones that actually name the tree are worth at least a couple of bucks. Now, I've had the question um, real recently about foreign postcards. I don't mess with almost any foreign postcard unless they're like a military specific. These are propaganda for the German army from World War I. I would also buy World War II ones as a historical item as well to turn around and resell. 
I've been selling, uh, I've got three or four people that come back every single month and will spend like 50 or 60 bucks on a couple of these cards. I bought a huge assortment of these not too long ago. Again, I wouldn't just go buy city scenes of anything like that um, from Germany or any other country other than China. And a few areas in England um, do go in Canada. But other than that, for the most part, I don't get much luck or traction on foreign cards of any kind. Maybe, again, military, as I said, or navy or something. But or nautical or transportation ships, only because the ships would have trans transversed the Atlantic or the Pacific and been uh, at other uh, ports of call in other countries. So this one did go for 1850, and this one went for 2450 to the same person. So again, I've got several people that buy these, and you'll see them. I usually sell them in a pair or two or three or four at the same time. These are something that I would list all together at the same time and get the, the effort or the effect of the advertising because it will push like items when they're going to check out. So uh, This one here is just some beat-up ratty um, card advertising a uh, casino. Um, and I think it had Remember Pearl Harbor on it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, don't forget Pearl Harbor. Same basic gist on it. It's basically like a coupon card as well for the Golden Nugget Saloon in Denver. The inside opens up, and this is what you're uh, in, in the inside of it. It's a rather interesting piece here. I took 10 bucks on it. It's been up for a while. It's not in the best condition. Somebody had taped it at one time. The tape fell off. Um, over time, some of these tapes, the tape just loses the glue and totally falls off. There's no way to do anything with it but other than sell it the way it is. And the last one here is just a cufflink set. Somebody with J for initial bought this, $27.50. So there you go. That's what I have for you today. Just gives you an idea and a broader mix of different items that we sell. Well, there you go. There's some more items we sold. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.